Tonight marks a very significant day in the history of our great city. All of us gathered here tonight have memories of this grand structure we call affectionately Big Blue. In the city of Hastings, generations are marked by bridges. I think this bridge is the uh, symbol of Hastings. The original bridge that made Hastings famous and lives on today as the city's logo was built in 1895. The spiral bridge was built for horse traffic. When it started being used for cars, the problem was um, they would go much faster and they'd go around the spiral and they'd start to drift into the into the boards. The spiral bridge was a landmark in Hastings until 1951. You know, I don't remember the spiral bridge. I don't think anybody here does. <laughs> but I found one person that did. I am old enough so I was able to drive over that in one of my friend's cars when I was a kid. I think I had a license at the time. <laughs> the spiral bridge? The spiral bridge. What do you remember about it? Oh, that it had uh, wooden ties that you drove over, it was very bumpy, and it was always frightening. Even to walk over it was really scary because you could see between the boards. <laughs> After over 50 years of service, it was out with the old and in with Big Blue. It's in late in 1951. It shows the spiral bridge on the top, and then the new Highway 61 bridge with with just a little open span still to be connected. Unlike its predecessor, Big Blue has had to rely more on personality than looks. The current 61 bridge was built right after World War II, and it was pretty utilitarian in style. It didn't have any flourishes, really. It really doesn't have an awful lot of eye appeal. It gets you from point A to point B. But looks aren't everything, and this was proven on June 4th 2013 when almost everyone and their dog came out to say goodbye to Big Blue. Today we say goodbye to a structure that has served our community since February of 1951, some 62 years ago. I'm very sad to see the old bridge go. Spent many years traveling across the old bridge twice a day to work. Looking all at all the the beams as you drive under it. It's pretty cool. A lot of people came, a great turnout. We didn't want the, this historic moment to pass without honoring it. This is literally the last chance to be on the bridge. And, and now all these families, all these kids and community members can say, we were the last people on the bridge before it was gone. Even the bagpiper was a Hastings resident who volunteered his time to be here for the event. I just think it's important because it's it's really kind of iconic to the city of Hastings. This bridge has been here for 62 years, really an end to this chapter in Hastings history here, so. But this was not just a day of saying goodbye. It was also a time to celebrate the future. This steady bridge has seen the construction of its capable, impressive companion and successor, readying itself to take on the task of carrying 33,000 vehicles every day. The new bridge, which is still awaiting a nickname of its own, is over twice the size of Big Blue, and getting it here was no easy task. The main span of the bridge, which you actually see behind me now, was built on land and then floated down the river and lifted into place where it is today. The center part was built on the ground and built on a special platform that moved it off of the land into the water, and it, they had to move it down the the river, but it had to be a very calm day. It had been on the river for several days before the conditions were right and they could float it down. And it was like watching paint dry. It moved so slow. The new bridge is designed to last for 100 years and will be an upgrade from two lanes of traffic to four. The city hopes to have all four lanes of traffic open by the end of the year. And according to early reviews, the critics are impressed. Are you excited? We have your one. You're excited for the new bridge? I'm very excited for the new bridge. I've driven across the new bridge actually a couple times already for work. It's really nice. It's pretty. I like the red. It looks good and it, it's going to be more functional. And by the end of the summer, our, our landscape sight line is going to look a lot different in Hastings. It's so exciting. It's beautiful to drive over the new bridge. There's no superstructure over your head when you're driving over. Things are wide open, it's absolutely gorgeous. And to see our community turn out for this great occasion is fun. And with Big Blue in the rearview mirror of our memories, a new bridge again marks the beginning 
of a new generation in Hastings. I think what's happening now is that that new bridge is whispering to Old Blue right about now. And it's saying, I'm ready to take over now, my tired old friend. Thank you for the role in making this city what it is today. Thank you very much. In Hastings, John Foss, Hastings 14 News.